What is up guys, Millennium Legends back at it again. Today we have Machine Reactor, the structured deck. We're gonna go ahead and crack this open. Kind of foreshadow this on the last opening where we opened up Dino Smasher's Fury. So if you guys haven't checked out this one, go ahead and do that. I'll have a link for Machine Reactor in the description below. Also with the Magic Haribo Playmat too, if you guys still wanna pick one of those up. Really fun structure deck. Let's go ahead and look at the back of this one. All of the monster spell and traps we're gonna get. Man-made monstrosities. The machine reactor structure deck uses the popular gadget monsters to power up gargantuan ancient gear monsters. Summon the ancient gear gadget and turn this deck's ace monster ancient gear reactor dragon into a 3000 attack, double attacking, defense piercing, card destroying behemoth. Only the strong can reach maximum output and control the mighty mechanical army. If you haven't seen some of my other structure deck or starter deck openings, we're going on a quest to open up every single structure deck and starter deck. When that quest will be complete, I don't know, but we haven't opened up this one yet, so we're gonna go ahead and crack it open. A lot of really cool cards that came out um, at the same time as the Dino Smasher's Fury. This came out in 2017. I love the Ancient Gears. I think they're pretty sweet because I'm a big fan of GX. It's not my favorite. Uh, obviously, the original is where it's at, but GX is still really fun. Beginner's Guide, you're always guaranteed to get. Not a bad beginner deck, maybe, to buy if you think the Ancient Gears are really cool, too. Because there's not a whole lot of extra deck monsters that you have to worry about as opposed to maybe some of the others that have come out since. Oh, you know, with the links, XEs, synchros, all that fun stuff. This is showing off some of the sets at the time that you can power up with, but some of our really cool combo strategies with some of our new cards in here too. We're gonna maybe go ahead and go over our foils at the end. I think that's a good strategy, but we have Ancient Gear, Gargantuan Dragon. This card works uh, really well with using some of the gadgets, I think declaring a different um, color, and then that dictates this card's uh, effect, which is pretty sweet. Ancient Gear Golem. Used to be maybe hard to special summon, but there's a couple cards that make it a little bit easier in this. Ancient Gear Gargantuan Chimera, 2300, 1300, uh, six stars. Ancient Gear Beast. Ancient Gear Engineer, Gear Knight, Soldier. Ancient Gear Box, which is a really cool effect. Um, if this card is added from the deck or graveyard to your hand, except by drawing it, you can add an Earth Machine type monster with 500 attack and or defense from your deck to your hand, except Ancient Gear Box. So you get two of him. Gear Gear Uger, if I pronounce that right. Uh, Planet Pathfinder. Minefield Driller. Uh, two card troopers, which is always cool to see. Uh, Gigantis, which really popular back in the day with Earth Beatdown decks. Boxer. Uh, hard Arm Dragon. Spell Striker. A Band Maxi, Ancient Gear Fortress, uh, Ancient Gear Castle, both of those really, really nice. Uh, with, I mean, they do so much with your Ancient Gears, it's not even funny. So, Fortress, uh, during the turn they were normal or special summon, your opponent cannot target Ancient Gear monsters you control with card effects. It cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to the activation of Ancient Gear cards or effects, or and effects, I should say. This card is destroyed in the spell and trap zone. You can special summon an ancient gear monster from your hand or graveyard. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn. And then you have ancient gear castle. All ancient gear monsters gain 300 attack each time a monster is normal summoned or set. Place a counter on this card. If you tribute summon an ancient gear monster face up, you can tribute this card instead. If the number of its counters is equal to or greater than the number of required tributes. That's insanity. Ancient gear workshop. You have gear town which is their uh, field spell. So both players can normal summon Ancient Gear monsters for one less tribute, which works really well with the castle that we were looking at. When this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon an Ancient Gear monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. And that's gonna work really well with one of our new foil monsters, or at least they were new at the time. Uh, Mausoleum of Emperor, or of the Emperor, I should say. Uh, Pseudo Space, Limiter Removal, Machine Duplicator, uh, Inferno Reckless Summon, Galaxy Cyclone, Terraforming, Jar of Avarice, good reprint, uh, Mistress of the Gnomes, uh, Machine King 3000 BC, Phoenix Chain, Call of the Haunted, the huge revolution is over, and then your Ancient Gear token. So, going into some of our foils, oh my gosh, we had a ton. We'll start off with Ancient Gear Gadget, which is really, really sweet. Cards are a little warped. If this card is normal or special summon, you can declare one card type, monster, spell, or trap. This turn, if a monster you control attacks your opponent's spell, traps, or monster effects, 
cannot be activated depending on what you declared until the end of the damage step. And then once per turn, you can declare one gadget monster's card name until the end phase. This card name becomes that. So this works really well uh, with some of the other cards, that we, you know, combining those um, gadgets and the gears together, which is really sweet. We have Ancient Gear Reactor Dragon. This is your big boss of the deck. 3,000 attack, 3,000 defense. If this card that was tribute summoned by tributing an Ancient Gear monster attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent. If this card was tribute summoned by tributing a gadget monster, it can make a second attack during each battle phase. This card attacks your opponent's spell, traps, and monster effects. Can't be activated until the end of the damage step. The end of the damage step of this card attacked, you can destroy one spell or trap on the field. That's that's absolute insanity. That card's incredible. And the big theme around this deck, right, is stopping your opponent from activating its spell, trap, or monster effects. So depending on like your strategies or what your opponent's got on the board, you can use like your Ancient Gear gadget to stop your monster effects if you have a whole lot of ability for spell and trap removal. This, this deck functions really, really well. It's really cool. So getting into maybe our last three. We have Ancient Gear Hydra, and at the end of the damage step, when this card that was tribute summoned by tributing an Ancient Gear monster battles an opponent's monster, but the opponent monster was not destroyed by battle, you can banish that monster instead. This card was tribute summoned by tributing a gadget monster, you can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. If an Ancient Gear monster you control attacks your opponent's spell traps or monster effects, can't be activated until the end of the damage step. So 2700, 1700. Uh, seven star monster ancient gear wyvern if this card is normal or special summon you can add an ancient gear card from your deck to your hand except ancient gear wyvern you also cannot set cards for the rest of the turn you can only use the effect of ancient gear wyvern once per turn if this card attacks your opponent monsters cannot activate their effects until the end of the damage step. This deck is big on effects activated at the end of the damage step. And then you have Ancient Gear Catapult. This card's really sweet too. So while you control no monsters, target a face-up card you control and destroy it. If you do special summon an Ancient Gear monster from your deck, ignoring and summoning conditions. So you can send the Gear Town to the grave and then you can special summon an Ancient Gear Golem, ignoring its summoning conditions. And that's not all. So, you can also banish this card from your graveyard, then target a face-up card you control, destroy it, and if you do special summon an Ancient Gear token, you can only use one Ancient Gear Catapult effect once per turn and only once that turn. So, choose wisely, but a lot of really cool combos that you can pull off with that card too. Overall, I like this deck. I think it's really sweet. I'm a big GX fan, like I said earlier in the beginning of the video, so seeing a lot of the Ancient Gear Golem get all this extra really cool support, I like seeing the gadgets integrated into the deck too. I think it flows really, really well. I don't think it stacks up quite as well compared to Dino Smasher's Fury as a whole. Maybe if this was 20, I think this came out in 2017, 2018. If it was back then, maybe I would have dueled them together. If that's something you guys want to see, let me know. I think it's, I think it's a little outdated for that. But I think Dino Smashers gets the, the slight like extra thumbs up. But this deck still gets a thumbs up <laughs> to be uh, kind of corny and generic. But super fun deck. One of the cooler ones that we opened up on our recent little batch of structure deck openings. I recommend it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video though. Like I said, if you guys still want to pick up this deck, I'll have it in the description. Same with the playmat, same with Dino Smashers Fury. And I'll talk to you guys on the next video. You guys have a great day.